My most asked question on every single one of my videos are what are my game settings and what are my post effects settings. So in this video, I'm going to be covering all of that. Let's get into it. So my game settings to start off quick slots, stamina and stance, health condition. These are checked on always shown. My health color scheme is on polychrome. My FOV is on 75. My head bobbing is on 0.2 and that's basically it. Now my graphic settings, I play on 2560 by 1440. I play on borderless. That's just because I alt tab a lot. My texture quality is on medium. You could choose this on high if you want. Shadow quality is on low. Object LOD quality is on two. Overall visibility 1000. Anti-aliasing TAA high. 1x off for resampling. I don't use any DLSS. My HBAO is on max performance. SSR is off. If you turn this on, your game will look really, really good, but it's very intense on your computer, so be careful if you're using that. Anistrophic filtering is on off. And then my NVIDIA reflex low latency is on on and boost. My sharpness is on 0.1. I noticed when you put this too high, I think it just, the game just be looking a little bit weird. I think the sharpness lower makes the game look better. Every time you pop a painkiller, your game will get a lot sharper, so it kind of balances this out. And then I always have my high quality color on and my grass shadows. And we're going to get into post effects in the setting, but we're going to go to sound. These are my sound settings and I have binaural audio off. Now this is what the game looks like with no post effects whatsoever. It looks very bland. It's dark. It's gray. It's kind of gross looking. And this is what the game looks with my post effects settings. And I'm going to show you that right now. So if we visualize this, you can see there is a huge difference between the default game and my post effects. I use zero brightness. When you turn the brightness up at all, it just makes the sun, it makes the glares, it makes flashlights so much brighter. So I keep my brightness at zero and I never turn it up whatsoever. My saturation is at 71. My clarity is at 75. My colorfulness is at 88. And my luma sharpen is at 80. Adaptive sharpen is also at 10. And my color grading is Amelia. Now you'll notice from zero to 100, there's a big effect on this. Now I've tested this a lot and I think this gives the game a unique look and it stands out a little bit more. When it's hard to see inside buildings, this will make it, especially in dark places like Interchange, able to see things a little bit more. So this is my post effect settings. Now if you go over to your desktop, you right click and go to NVIDIA control panel. It should pull up obviously your NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust desktop color settings and click on your gaming monitor. And you can mess around with some of these settings here. I always boost my gamma to whatever I want. I kind of go in game, I test to see what works for me. 1.25 is perfect. And then I boost this digital vibrance up to 65%. Now all of these settings, whether they're post effect settings or see NVIDIA control panel settings, it will all depend on the monitor that you're using. I'm using a Gigabyte M27Q. So depending on what settings you're using on your monitor, how good your monitor is, things like this will all play a huge effect on your actual settings. So copying my settings exactly may not have the same effect on your monitor or what your game may look like. So tweak around with it, play around. I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a thumbs up. Thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.